Hello guys, today I'm going to teach you Boris Wilde's Aiken. That Aiken is so incredible. I think you have it in your mind since you've seen it on Fulas. It is a miracle and now I can show you how that trick was done. Uh, we are going to need a deck of cards, double-sided stick tape and scissors. He didn't use a new deck of cards because we didn't see these two cards in the deck, okay? So we know that he prepared all of the cards before the trick. And I'm going to show you how to prepare your deck for that miracle. We are going to use, like, uh, I will use the Ace of Hearts. We need to use this size of stick tape. And we will glue. We will stick it here and remove the top layer, okay? Now we tear it in half and put it right here, okay? Now that we have one here and one here, we are going to remove this glue a little bit, okay? We do like this and feel if it is gluing. We don't need it to glue a lot, okay? Okay, now I have, when I press, it will glue. And when I only pass my finger, it doesn't glue anymore, okay? Only if I press on any other card and it will glue to that card. Now the second part of this gimmick is that we have to bend this bottom left corner. Okay, like this, we bend it and we are ready to start the trick. Okay, we will uh, transfer our gimmick to the middle so the person doesn't see the top card and we start by telling him shuffle the cards for me, they shuffle as many times as they want and now we take the cards back from them and cut to the gimmick so the gimmick is on the bottom of the deck we cut and cut and our gimmick is right here so we can tell them to choose any card they choose like this one and while they are looking at the card we are going to transfer the ace of hearts to this portion of the deck so let's see again they choose any card you move the ace of hearts while they are looking you move the ace of hearts to this portion of the deck it is so easy to do and when they they give the card back the seven of diamonds you put everything on top is square and press a little okay you only press a little on the two sides of the deck and you can give them to shuffle the cards and our cards is now stick to each other. Our gimmick is stick to the chosen card, the seven of diamonds. Now they give you the deck back and you need to transfer the gimmick to the top. Now the gimmick is on the top with the chosen card, okay? Right here. Now we take, uh, we tell them choose any number between one and 52. This is the part that the trick happens. Uh, if they choose a one, we only show the top card, that is two cards stick to each other. If they choose any number between two and 52, is where our gimmick will work for us. Let me show you how this is done. Uh, they choose a 13, okay? And you tell them, let's do it very slowly so you can see that I'm not doing anything that is not fair. You take the top card, count one, okay? This is our gimmick with the chosen card and you count one. When you count two, we are going to uh, make this card go between the two cards, okay? So the card goes between our gimmick and our chosen card it, this is because we bent this top card okay now we count two and three and everything is going to now uh, 
be in the middle of the two cards four five and when you do this this size of the this side of the the stick tape is now uh, released and this is not so let's count six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 okay 13 and we take all of the cards and we only square it and ask them what was the card seven of diamonds they turn the cards over and this is the seven of diamonds. okay let's see what happens here once again let's suppose they chose the six of clubs okay we have our gimmick on top they are glued to each other and they say like nine the number nine we are going to count one okay we take the two cards and the second card is going to go in between the two cards okay so one two and this direction will work very well because we have here two stick tapes three the third card is going to be to go under uh, between the two cards four five six seven eight nine and this is the person that's that has to to be removed we only take the cards and we square it when we square they remove okay the two uh, parts of the stick tape and they can tell them our they can tell us the card they only look at the card and it is there chosen from the beginning and if we see here we have nine card nine cards why because our gimmick glued to another card becoming one card as well so we have nine cards here and the trick is very clean we can end with everything on the table Thank you so much, uh, let me know what you think about this trick in the comments and if you want to see any other card trick, uh, look at the videos on my channel and we'll see on the next video.